Welcome to Weld.com. Recently had a viewer request a question about stick welding, thin wall, square tubing. Kind of been beating square tubing up a little bit, but it's a good practical application. Um, they got 14 gauge. I went ahead, I, he didn't specify a joint configuration, so I went ahead and miter cut these at a 45. And I'm not real alarmed with any of this except for one particular weld on the outside here on this on this backside corner and we'll show you that here in a second so you know here it is a weekend I, weld supply is not open so i'm going to kind of i mock this up just like we were at home and didn't have any access to some some real choices here all i have here at the shop that'll run on this machine is 332 6013 that is not my first choice my first choice would be a 6010 or 6011 so that I could just kind of lightly blow this weld on here with low amperage, probably down and around the 50-55 amp range. So 6013 is all I have available to me. So there's a good, good mock-up for you. I'm going to come in here and tack this on the very top, turn it over and tack it on the very top, and then I'm going to go over and lightly buff this. This thing comes out to a super sharp point out here on the end. And I just want to hit that so that it's a little flatter. I don't want to hit it and open it up with the sander to the point where <clears throat> it gets real thin. It's going to be heat sensitive. I will more than likely try to weld this downhill quickly. All these welds are going to go fairly quick and I think that's I think we've all blown through the wall and opened up a big old hole when we're doing some square tubing projects. So short arc, tight fit, fast travel speed. Again, non-critical application, but you know, worthy when we're around the house building something. We could be mocking up a table frame or something. Anyway, let me get my sleeves on. I'll be right back. I went ahead and tacked these up. <clears throat> By the way, I had cleaned these parts with a wire wheel, pedestal, pedestal grinder. Uh, you could do it uh, with a grinder with a flat wire wheel as well. And then I went ahead and just kind of flattened this peak out here just to give it a, uh, it looks like about a sixteenth on either side just so it's flat. I don't expect to make this look super pretty, you know. It's just going to be effective, especially this weld here. It's not normal that we run this. Uh, downhill. I'd be a little leery of standing it up like that. We could probably, you know, we could try that. We could try that. I'm, I'm kind of worried about heat sensitivity and blowing through here on these outside peaks, but I'm willing to give it a go. So first weld is across here. opened up a hole right away. So I'm gonna to go to the other side. Fill in my little hole here. Let me go peck some slag here so we can see these welds. I'll be right back. I finished this up, cleaned, I cooled it off, cleaned it off, and uh, nothing super pretty about it, but it's effective. It's stuck together. You know, you could go back and sand finish if that's what you needed to do. Had a little problem here, and I'm, I'm kind of glad that it happened because pretty normal. I blew a hole in it when I was going across here from simply going too slow, and that's real easy to do. 
And so I cleaned the slag back and I dashed it and, and got a nice little button there just to fill it in. I've done it a bunch of times, you know, working with this kind of stuff. So pretty common, uh, pretty much nailed that fillet weld across there on the inside, very, very small. Uh, fast travel speeds, short arc and fast travel speeds. So we can probably mock another one up, maybe try some 6011. I don't have any 332. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have some eighth inch around here somewhere. We don't run a whole lot of 6011 here at the, at the college on procedures on plate and pipe. So we'll see if I can find something. Uh, Everlast 200 DV ran about 70 amps. Again, 332, 60, 6013. So I hope this helps the, the viewer comment who's having trouble or asking about running thin wall tubing with stick. Not our favorite thing to do. I like uh, TIG or MIG for this kind of stuff because you can control the, control the heat. Again, I think a lot of the issues are the travel speed. Got so much heat going into this thing quickly that you just want to move right along. So I hope this helps. We'll see if we can find another one and mock it up for 6011. First one we did was uh, 330 seconds, 6013. And then we thought, you know, hey, let's just mock one up and do uh, 6011 real quick. Different art characteristic, fast freeze electrode. I really wanted 332, but all I have here in the shop is eighth inch. So we're like doing some problem solving just like you would. Here it is, here it is a weekend. We don't have what we need. So we're gonna, we're gonna punt, do with what we got. Anyway, a couple of two inch, Thin wall square tubing, 14 gauge. I cut them at 30 degree, just a miter. We could do it a 90. They'd weld a little bit different because of the radius, but I cleaned them up on the wire wheel and the pedestal buffer. And then I went ahead and uh, flattened this out just a little bit. When we did the 6013, we welded it up here so we could get the camera view. Again, this is gonna be heat sensitive. You know, I'm probably going to be whipping this thing across here and just kind of blowing some weld down in here. We're not, we're not trying to get anything super critical. It's just putting it together and making it effective, so. Everlast 200 dV. <laughs> 70 amps. Got my dig set on uh, 50%. We're running on DC here. There's another couple of combinations. We could probably go to AC and, and make this thing better. I'm gonna go uh, cool this off, buff it off, get all the speckles off of it. I'll be right back. Welcome back. <clears throat> I cooled this off and cleaned it off. And uh, it's welded. Is it pretty? No. Could it be? Eh, you know, I'd like to be using that smaller rod for a little more control. Um, I don't know what it looked like on camera, but man, as soon as I struck an arc, I'm going because I don't want to blow through this thing. I did make a, a hole in the 6013 because I wasn't traveling fast enough. Um, anyway, you know, this is a little bit peaked, but it's in there. Easily sand that off, finish it. This one's okay across here. You know, nature of a fast freeze rod and then the inside fillet weld in here. So <clears throat> doable. Again, I think the real big issue on anything thin wall with stick is just, man, you gotta move quick. You gotta, you gotta get in there and be accurate. I hope this helps. I hope this satisfied the viewer request for uh, thin wall square tubing with stick welding. Thanks for watching weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos. Freaking like it. Stuck an electrode there, camera guy. That's $10 out of your pocket. You goofy son of a gun, you. Cause it's fun.